everybody. Okay, so I am going to show you how I've been using ManyCam and the Google Planner and Google Slides and all the features and everything all together. So I think this is actually going to be a really jam-packed video. Um, I could break it up into different videos, but I think I'm just going to forget things. So feel free to kind of fast forward or move along if there's things that I'm touching on that you have no desire to see. Um, so first, I thought I'm just going to go ahead and touch on the basics of just ManyCam without like Google Slides and some of the cool ways that I have been using ManyCam. So I'm going to open up ManyCam right here on my screen. And, you know, here I am. Oh, I got to I have to reapply. <laughs> I'm not fully lipped. All right. So first, let's just start with the basics of some of the fun things that I've been using with ManyCam. So if you want to use ManyCam and you're not really willing yet or ready to go into Google Slides, this is fine. If you want to use ManyCam with Google Slides, I'm going to show you how to do that too. But in the meantime, here are some cool ways that I've been using ManyCam. Um, today, I had a lot of trials. Um, so I have been using, um, I have downloaded some um, objects and letters and things through ManyCam. And so I have all them listed kind of right here, as you can see. So today, you know, for my lesson two, unit one trials, it was really neat. I actually have a folder here I called trials. So when we were learning A, you know, I'd pop A up here. Now I used to just use flashcards and you can, you can kind of drag these around, but then I would interact, you know, big A, small A big A, small A. And so I have all the letters here, A, B, C, D, H, F, um, D, F, H. So I have the letters for um, if I have to slowly move to another trial. Um, and let me go ahead and get rid of this. So I've been using the letters a lot. And then I will do things like A, 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 oops, let's go into my food. I put everything away. Normally, I kind of had everything out. Where's my food? Mama want her food. So I'd be like A, A, apple you know, and then I'd have the apple here, apple, and then ah, 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 apple, can you say? Good. So I've been using a lot of objects uh, when I'm in my mini cam to go ahead and help with the trials. So it's actually kind of fun. I, I mean, I use them for my classes too. Uh, when we talk about the weather, you know, is it rainy? I have my little face accessories and stuff like that. So it can be like raining. Is it rainy today? You know, oh, it's totally rainy. Um, so I've been using like my accessories within my trials. I use them all the time in my classes. Um, lately, I really have been loving the um, text feature. I don't know why I didn't really use it before, but um, I was using the chat box a lot. But if I'm really trying to explain a concept, you know, if I wanted to say mouse, um, what I would do here is go up to my text uh, and I have my text box and just make it a little smaller. And then I could type like mouse and then mice, <laughs> mouse, mice, mouse, mice. So now I'm starting to use the text portion of ManyCam. I feel like I really wasn't using that as much. So now I've been incorporating text in most of my classes. You know, I can see, I can even write the sentences again. You know, I can see my mom if I want to, uh, if I'm working with that, you know, I can see my mom and it kind of allows me to kind of, I can see, see my, and then I can hold up, that's not the right prop, don't kill me, mom, I can see my mom. And it just helps me with my TPR. I don't know. It's just an added little thing. Um, and every time my students do well, they earn a star. And that's not the star I want. Come on, like backfire. Okay, so there's a star. There's a star. You can like slap a star. You can just whack a star. You can like punch a star. And then I'll be like, look, one, two, three, four, five. You have five stars. You're amazing. And sometimes when they earn a star, I'll be like, wow, like stars galore. You've earned stars. I don't know. I look crazy. Um, but these are just some fun things that you could go ahead, do um, exclusively just using or solely using ManyCam. I've been using the timer for um, some of the activities where we count, you know, how fast can you read? And then um, if it would reset, why aren't you setting? Oh, it did. So then I would go three, two, one, go. And then, ah, uh, there it goes. It's like it reset. So three, two, one, go. Let's see if I can reset it. Yeah. So three, two, one, go. 
page is having issues here. Okay, so then I have the stopwatch up, which is just kind of fun. Like if we're doing the timer thing, I used to hold up my phone. Um, so there are some cool like features within here. Um, in the trials, I was, you know, when you do have the kids that are really having a hard time learning, learning, learning how to circle. Um, and, and I've asked firemen to help me. I mean, there is this overlay you can do if they're using an iPad to try to get them to figure out how to draw a circle or if they're using their computer. Um, it's really a last resort. You know, I really don't want to use any Chinese when we're in class. But sometimes, I mean, if we are just really stuck and that kid cannot draw a circle, um, I've been liking it. So these are the many ways that I am using ManyCam now. Um, I'm using a lot of my different objects, my speeches. I have like a simple reward here, you know, the dress dino reward if I wanted to uh, just use a simple reward. Here's Dino. And then Dino can earn his shoes. He can earn a backpack. He can earn some glasses and then like dress Dino. Um, and in some of the trials too, you know, I'll go and I'll have like, here's my peep and I'll go and I'll have Meg and Mike. So I like to introduce Meg and I like to introduce Mike and then I'll interact with them. You know, can you say hi, Meg? Can you say hi, Mike? And then I'll even have them when we can't figure out what they're trying to say. If they want Meg or Mike, they're here too. And sometimes I'll say, you know, like Meg is five. Mike is seven. How old is Meg? Five or seven? You know, and how old is Mike? And then, you know, we our friends go goodbye and we say goodbye. Oh, sometimes I forget where to wave. Like goodbye, Mike and goodbye, Meg. Um, so I kind of can use my characters in there. And I have all these different characters that are just on ManyCam in its own. So um, I have all the numbers if needed. So anyway, it's a really cool way. And I, I just still need to organize, you know, when we're talking about different animals um, for our farm units. I do need to organize it a little bit more. But anyway, that is using ManyCam without using Google Slides. So if you have no desire to learn about Google Slides, you can end here. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so if you stayed, you've wanted to see how I'm using Google Slides. So first, I want to start off with how I've been using the planner, this amazing planner. People in the Google Slides group made, oh my gosh, the amount of work. I mean, fantastic, incredible. And it's made my life so much easier. So I have dual screens. What I'm going to do here is drag um, this browser right on over here and I'm going to open it up. All right. So now we are in my Google Drive and in my Google Drive, let's go here. I have these, um, this sheets. It's opening. It's opening. All right. So I have these sheets and I, and I labeled this one, use this planner. It's only called use this planner because I've made so many errors deleting out, um, <laughs> formulas. Oh my God, they work so hard in this and it just takes one minute for me and I can do it. So anyway, um, props to everybody over in that Google Slides group that have been making this. It's amazing. So we open this up and it loads up. And so there's different tabs here. Let's see if I can close this. Maybe I shouldn't. Um, it's different tabs here on the bottom. It says things like training calendar. Let's see if I can move that thing is a little bit in its way. Um, I think what we're seeing, there's some like things here. All right. It says training calendar, my schedule, my planner, rewards, MC lessons, feedback generator. And then um, they put an extra sheet in there for records. So what I have been doing, let's see, I go into my schedule and let me, uh, I don't know why things are going just a little slow. I think just because I'm recording. So let me delete some of this out and I'll start fresh for you. Um, if I could try that again. Okay, so what I would do is go into my classrooms, go into my schedule. I'm gonna go back, uh, let me go back to when I didn't have so many trials. I've been doing exclusively short notice booking lately um, to try to get some extra money. So everything has been, I've gotten a lot more trials. All right, so say I would go in here and I'm just going to, uh, let's start here with, uh, an actual day. So we'll start like 4.30 up until, I don't know, eight o'clock. I'm going to just hit control C and I'm going to copy. All right. And then I'm going to go back into my planner and I'm just going to click right here and I'm going to hit control V and paste. All right. So there is my schedule. It just transfers in all the important things that I need here. And here's where I would make any adjustments to like my student's name 
Um, if he has it like, you know, in some lowercase letters, I'll, I'll change it like here to fix it. All right. So what's so cool about this is once I did this, there's so many magical formulas that are happening. That is unbelievable. I'll go into my planner now and look, here are my students. And in here are um, Google Slide lesson prop options. So here are some Google Slide lesson prop options um, that work really great for my classes. And then not only that, here are feedbacks that are generated for boy and for girl. And it automatically generated feedback with the student's name in it. So say I didn't even want to do this. It's very similar to the collaborative um, lesson bank, except it includes um, lesson props. And if you're not using Feedback Panda, then you have your feedback here. And if you are um, using Feedback Panda, well, sometimes I'll still just copy and paste and then modify it here. Um, and it's all in one place. So then now if I want to go into rewards and choose rewards for my students, my um, my props. So here I have um, my students from last week. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay. So now it will only pull down students that I have put in my schedule. So like right now I have, um, let's just say, you know, Zeki. So I have Zeki. If I want to do a reward, let me just go back into my planner and I'm going to copy, um, I'm going to copy Zeki's class number here, control C. Um, if I want to go now into rewards, I can just hit like control F and then control V here. And I just pasted like his lesson in there. And now it's like looking for lessons that will work with this course. And maybe I'll take away a few um, just to give a couple more suggestions. So here, L5, U5, good for any gender. So here, plants we eat. It's a teacher versus student goes great with the lesson. So what I'll do is I'll click on it and then I will um, copy the link address. So then I'll just go back here to where Zeki is and I'll copy and I'll paste. I'm sorry, I'll paste in that link address. So now when I go back to my planner, then here's Zeki. Here's the Google Slides that we're going to use. And now here's the reward that I've selected for him. So as I teach, my planner is up and it's ready to go. So that's kind of like my prep. I'll just do it my night before, but it really only takes about, I don't know, five minutes and everything is all set for the day. Then I have my planner up and I pull from it. So anyway, that was me explaining this amazing planner that's on the Google Drive bank. And I mean, it's it's just incredible. I mean, shout out. It's just amazing. It's amazing. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and show you that. I'm going to go now and show you how I use Google Slides with my ManyCam. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you have no interest in seeing how I use Google Slides with ManyCam, you want to stop here. If you have an interest, then let's keep going. Um, so I use two monitors. I have one monitor that's right in front of me, which is just a monitor. And then I have a laptop. Now on this main monitor, I have, I'm going to put this away. I have my mini cam and I like to keep that straight out in front of me um, so I can access things. And then I have the app and I do use the app for teaching. Um, I don't have problems with it, but I will go ahead and keep on my um what will I keep? I'll keep up like the browser in a tab just in case like I have to quickly switch from it. Oh, let's see. These are my personal stats. You guys don't need to see that. Um, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. So let's go to, <laughs> let's go to bookings. Look at this guys. I think I'm going to hit 2000 classes today. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Today's the big day. I hit 2000 once 12 o'clock um, Beijing time comes on. Oh, it's, 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 Okay, that was my partying for 2000. Okay, so, so um, say I have my schedule. Um, oh, let's just go back into that planner. Actually, why not? We'll go back into the planner and I'm going to pull up my reward for Zeki or my class, my lesson prop for Zeki. So I'll pull this up. Excuse me, I'm getting a little, um, a little froggy. Ribbit, ribbit. Mm. All right, so things... Uh, plants we use to make things. So this was from Cindy Haytock. She went and made it and contributed to the collaborative part of the Google Slides. And so here are um, the slides that I'm going to use. Now, normally I would drag this over. So I'm going to have to show you soon. I'm going to switch back to Minicam. But I'll put this in presenter view. I'll close this little box. 
And then this is ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to ManyCam so you can see. And I'm going to take that slide. I'm just going to move it over to my second monitor, which is right here. All right. So now you can see I have my feed set. I'm going to switch to my feed, which is feed number three. Here I am in the bottom. And I have this set while well, I messed with it a little bit. I have this set now for my Google Slides for my lessons. Um, and so now as we're going through the lesson, I'll go ahead and be like paper, you know, say we're talking about paper and then here's my exemplar of paper. Um, and we could just talk about paper. These go along with the lessons. So it's really cool. Um, if I go back into my planner tab where I was before, I can then select the reward that I had chosen to use with my student, Zeki. <clears throat> and then it was the plants we eat, teachers versus students. So this is fun. We each get to choose a reward. Um, I have my student <clears throat> Sorry, I have my student pick what plant for him and then what plant for me and then we can add up the points together. It's kind of fun. So same thing. I'll go into presenter view. And I'm going to now just kind of drag this guy and I'm going to put him over here in my um, my other monitor also. And then this one becomes my feed number four four. So I can switch from feed number one, which is where I am. I have the standard edition of ManyCam I paid for. Number three is my re my lesson props and number four is my rewards. Um, and I kind of like it. I can drag myself around like, do you want cauliflower or spinach or corn? Uh, and I can use myself quite often in the lessons. Um, and my feed number two is just a welcome to class will begin soon. And I just have this up so at least I'm in the classroom and, and I know that my camera's open and it's working. Um, so that's how I'll use Google Slides when the, within the classroom. Um, I use three different feeds and uh, I play my games that way. So anyway, I hope a lot of this was helpful. Um, I am going to do a live, I think, soon to answer any questions that you guys have. It's hard to do live. Kinda, um, because I get I don't get to use ManyCam when I use the live, so it's hard to really show. So I'm going to do a live, I think, with a camera angle kind of behind me, so you can see how I'm using the two computers. But anyway, I hope this helped everyone who wants to kind of digitalize their lessons a little bit more. I'm not a techie. Um, there are people who are much better than me at it. Why ManyCam works on some computers and not on others, I have no idea. I wish I could tell you. But anyway, I hope you found this somewhat helpful. Helpful, and I will, I don't know, I'll be here if you need me. Bye.